So if you've seen my previous video or you already have the exploit set up by somebody else's video, basically you'll be able to go ahead, skip ahead farther into this video and just do the bad avatar update to your USB stick. If not, though, you'll want to actually follow through with this uh, right from the start. So you want to make sure that, first of all, your console does not have uh, any profiles to automatically sign in. So basically, I'll show you how to do that instead of different, just in case you happen to have that set up. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go over to my profile here. I'm going to sign in, and then I'll show you on the setting where you actually go to make it so it doesn't have an automatic sign in. So right now, I can't connect to live because... I uh, do, uh, do not have a network connection. That's the other thing is you want to make sure sort of that you don't have an internet connection because if you're going to do it, you could actually get a console ban if you happen to sign in uh, with a profile or with the profile basically and be connected to live. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go over to settings. We're going to go to profile. I'm going to set up on here, sign in preferences. So if you already have a profile that automatically signs in, what you want to do is you want to take this auto sign in and turn this off. Because the fact that we use a bad avatar, uh, that's basically a profile, it'll try and sign that automatically in, and we do not want to do that, basically. Or with anything else, I should say, we want the exploit to actually run, so we don't want to have our profile try and sign in. So that'll be the first thing. And then, obviously, your next thing. We'll go to System, and then Network Settings. What I suggest, basically, is if you guys just don't run it on wireless, well, that's what I would do. And then you can actually just have a wired connection uh, as you're running the exploit. Just unplug your wired connection or take it offline basically here. And then that'll be about it. So, uh, and then the last thing we're going to do here is we're going to take a USB stick. Like I said, if you already set your USB stick up for the exploit, then it's fine. You can leave it. You'll just add the bad avatar update to it. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to go on to system and we're going to go to storage. I'm just going to run this right from scratch here. Basically, we're going to go down to USB storage. We're going to click on that. Sorry, actually right there. I'm going to go to device options and I'm just going to format this. So it's a FAT32. So we're going to click on that. Hit yes. It'll format the stick. It'll be ready to go then. And like I said, if you've actually watched my last video or you've watched somebody else's video, you won't have to do this necessarily, but this is just showing you right straight from as if you haven't modded your console at all or a USB stick set up right from the start. So now that we're done with that, what we're going to do is go ahead and close this, or I, I should say set the console off. We're going to switch to the computer side. Okay, so this is what you used to have to download was the bad update basically. Um, and you would have to sort of set it up on the USB stick. Now it's going to be super easy because I actually found a program out there that has everything set up for you. So what we're going to do is put the USB stick into the computer. And this here, we're not even going to actually need. So for one, that's showing the USB stick that I just formatted. And then what we're going to do is we're going to need to have a download directory. So what we're going to do is go to these two different places. There's a 360 hack pack version 1.03. So what we're going to do is go there. We're going to download this here. We're going to use the XE Unshackle ready to copy dot zip. So you're going to download that. I'll have the download link below for you guys. And then you're going to go to this Shutterbug 2000. And this is what the bad avatar uh, update basically is. And from there, this is public beta 2. So you can go down to the bottom here, click on that, and this you're going to actually download, this one right here. So after you get it downloaded, what you're going to want to do is go to your directory, basically, and put it into a folder. So I'll just set this up for you guys here. So this is the old rock band, basically. So if you guys previously had the old rock band, I think I lost my other drive here. Maybe not. Okay, so this here on the stick right now doesn't have anything. But if, for example, you guys had the old Rock Band hack on there, this is what you would have for your content directory on your stick. So if you guys would have had the Rock Band set up before onto your USB stick, this is basically your directory that would be on your stick. All you're going to simply do is take this download you basically did this bad avatar this is extracted into a folder all you would do is take your bad avatar you would take these two things grab them and basically copy them and then 
we're just setting this up as if this was our USB stick. This would be what was on the USB stick and we would right click and then paste it there. And then we would actually overwrite these files that are on there. That's pretty simple. Now, if this is your first time setting this up, what you're gonna do is basically go into the directories where you downloaded. You would take your 360 hack pack. You would go into here, go into there, go into your file settings. This would be everything. It has your system update. So if you're not on the proper dashboard yet, the system update is actually on there. You can use that to update your console. But we're gonna take everything and grab this and basically run it over to the right hand side onto our USB stick. We're going to let it copy everything over. And then once it's copied over, then we'll do the second step. Now what we're going to do is go out and we're going to actually go to the location where it shows the bad avatar, public beta. And like I said, these are extracted. What you're going to do here is just grab these two things. We're going to drag them over to our USB drive. We're going to take them there and we're going to actually replace the files in the destination. Click yes. And there you go. Now, so now this USB drive is all set up for us to go with the exploit. And what will happen is put it in your console and start it. And it's going to actually boot directly in there. So let's get that started. And I'll show you guys what happens here. So as you can see, the console is now booting up. And we're going to let the exploit that we have running, just do its thing. So it's basically gonna try and start here. It shows a bad avatar, a bad avatar is free software. And what'll happen is your console is gonna flash a couple different lights while this is loading. So most of the time the exploit doesn't have an issue running. I've had a few times basically where it's sort of not necessarily crash the console, but just sort of froze. You can still see if it's actually running just by moving left or right on the dashboard. And it could boot super fast. Sometimes it takes a couple of minutes. It all depends on what you're exactly doing. So because that actually come up like that, that's a good indication that we're actually moving along. Your lights will flash different now again. Okay, so there we go. We're actually booted and pretty much that's all we have to do. This is going to have your CPU key, your DVD key. Sort of want to keep those sort of private to yourself. Now you can go ahead, you can press X to save the info to the file. You can press Y after to dump the 1BL to the file. And then once you do that, you'll be able to press your back button and then get loaded into Aurora. The first time booting Aurora might take a little bit. It's going to actually check to say for the background, as you can see here, it's, it's sort of backing up some of my title updates and stuff that I do have on the drive because the drive was actually used for live at one point in time. But the second turnaround will actually go much faster. So I'll just let you guys see a full boot here. And then hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, and we will have more content coming your way soon on how to actually run your Aurora and games, backups, stuff like that. So we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.